Hi guys! Sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, I started going to school again. Um, I'm thinking about posting a video every Wednesday because I don't have school Wednesdays. That's great. Um, so I have a video for you guys. And this is really exciting news and I've been like dying to tell you. So here it is. I got a tattoo. On my wrist. Finally. Finally. Um, I got it two weeks ago. It is the ring inscription from Lord of the Rings. And it says, one ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, bind them. I got this tattoo. Now, I don't want people to just go get tattoos because, like, you might regret them. I don't care if I regret this, and I don't think I will. Because I've loved Lord of the Rings for, like... You can ask anybody who actually knows me. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, ever since I was little. But I thought about this tattoo for a long time. Like, a long time. I put a picture of it on my wall. Every morning when I woke up, I looked at that picture. And I was like, if I can wake up and look at that picture every day and not get sick of looking at it, I can put it on my body. So I ended up getting it. Did it hurt? Eh. This part hurt. The bottom of my wrist. And it hurt more than any other part, let's say. Except, like, this bone part right here. But the reason... Like, it, it wasn't even, like, there's not that much. See, I put dots to connect it. And the dots hurt more than the entire tattoo. Like, really. So, I got it. And it took about an hour to an hour and a half but it's also like really like detailed lines and stuff so thing is like if you got regular writing and it was like straight across your arm and stuff it would take like 15 minutes and he actually charged me less than what he normally charged because it didn't use as much ink because of how thin the writing was so I got a discount and actually what I've been using I'll show you I've been using this. It's tattoo wax. You put it on after you get a new tattoo. So it keeps it like moist. And you just, it helps it like heal. I use this every night before I go to bed. And I wear short sleeves. I'm not right now, but I mean like they're rolled up, but it's a sweater. I wear short sleeves when I go to bed. And I try to keep my arm, like, out from under the blanket. Um, what happened was, it starts, like, chipping. And, like, my friends were like, why is it chipping? But it's kind of like a cut. Like, when you get a cut, it, like, scabs. And then the scab comes off and you have, like, a scar underneath. That's kind of what it's like. So, it started chipping. And it stopped now. So, it's, like, just, like, on my skin. But when it was, like, chipping, it was just, like, don't pull on them. Like, that's a- he told me, don't pull on this, like, chips. Like, leave them, let them fall off by themselves. It's just- it, like- it flaked, and then, like, the like, thick black pieces of dried ink were, like, falling off. But it's been two weeks, and, like, it's, like, basically fully healed. It doesn't hurt. It's not red. It's not chipping anymore. And it's just smooth, and- he said it would heal pretty fast because it was just like a small tattoo. Um, I want to get another one already. <laughs> and I'm like, that's so bad. It was a hundred dollars for this. This. By the way, just thought I'd let you know if you're thinking about getting a tattoo. Um. So yeah, there's my update. I'm really happy. I can't believe I actually did it. So now, my hair is pink. I have a lip piercing and I got my tattoo. I'm like everything old people hate. 